Question 23. A chocolate box in the shape of a prism is being designed. All lengths are in centimeters. The cross section is a regular hexagon with side x and the length is 5x. An expression for the area of the cross section is in centimeters squared is 3 root 3 over 2x squared. So this is saying the area of that hexagon is 3 root 3 over 2x squared. The total surface area of the box must be less than 650 centimeters squared. Work out the largest possible integer value of x. Show you working. For this question, we're going to need to find the total surface area. We already know what the area of the cross section is. It's this area, which we have on the front and we have it on the back. So we need to multiply it by two. So the area of the front and the back is going to equal three root three over two x squared multiplied by two. So that's just going to remove that over two. So it'll become three root three x squared. That's the front and the back done. I need to now consider what all of these sides would add up to. That's a rectangle. So to work out areas of rectangles, I just multiply the base by the height. So the area of one of those rectangles is 5x times by x, which is equal to 5x squared. How many sides or how many faces do I have going around? It told us in the question that this is a hexagon. So that means there are six sides. I need to multiply this by six. So the area of the sides is equal to 5x squared, the area of one of those rectangles, multiplied by six, which is 30x squared. The total area here is going to be both of these added up together. So it's 3 root 3 x squared plus 30 x squared. Just to help with the next bit, because I can see both of them have x squared in, I'm going to pull x squared out and factorize it. So what multiplies by x squared to give me this? It'd just be 3 root 3. For this one, it'd just be plus 30. So these are both numbers. We can add them together, but i just leave it like this for now. It says the total surface area of the box must be less than 650 centimeters squared. So could I create an inequality using this and that piece of information? I'm going to write x squared bracket 3 root 3 plus 30 is less than 650. How would I solve this? Right now I can see the left hand side is being multiplied by this 3 root 3 plus 30. So I'm going to divide both sides by 3 root 3 plus 30. So x squared is less than 650 over 3 root 3 plus 30. Because the left hand side is being squared, to get rid of that, I just need to square root both sides. Just type all of this into the calculator. So I've got the root of 650 over 30 plus 3 root 3. That gives me 4.297. So x is less than 4.297. We're trying to work out the largest possible value that it could be. So x would have to be 4.